Hello and welcome for part 2 of this tutorial playlist. In this video I'll show you how to build C++ bindings for Godot and how you can use your own Godot DLLs this way. So for the beginning we will need Python, SCONS or SCONS. Uh, this is a building system to build the C++ bindings. And we need the source code from the C++ bindings and the header files. So let's start with Python. For this you open your browser and search for Python. Go for downloads and choose your operating system. It would be best to use the latest Python, uh, Python 3 release. So down here you have the file list where you go for the executable installer for x86 or x86 and 64. I will go for this one. Then you go to GitHub and search for Godot CPP or C++ to download the source code for the bindings. The same for the header files. So when you take a look at the Godot native tools, you find stuff like, uh, like the Rust or D language. You can also find some demo projects to get other examples on how to integrate your C++ code. So those are practical examples. At first I will download the C++ bindings as zip file and same for the headers. For a better overview I will put that on the desktop and then install Python. Um, yes, I will add it to path because that way you don't have too much trouble on the settings later. By installing everything on the whole Python package, you could say, um, you don't do anything wrong. Also, it would be best to install for all users, but important is this one to add Python to your variables. So you can call it up using the CMD later. I always choose my other hard drive to install such programming stuff, like I already have here, and then create a new folder. Okay, so now the Python installation is done. And to test that everything works out, you can press Windows key and R to open the CMD. And you just type in Python. And if this right here happens, everything worked out just fine. So you could theoretically start programming Python in here, which works. And now I get into the installation of scones. For that, you type pip install scones in the command shell. So we successfully installed scones and you get a warning that you could upgrade Python. Okay, but, but that's not necessary. Um, but here you can see the command for the upgrade, which we just could do. Uh, just why not now pip got upgraded and now scans is installed. Just testing. Yep, scans is found. And now you can begin with building the bindings. For that you extract the two zip files. Oh no, I got the wrong ones. All right, we need the Godot headers. So we need the Godot headers and the Godot C++. Then we extract the headers and go into the headers folder. Select all. 
and copy them into Godot C++ master in the folder headers. After that, you go back to the master folder and start CMD. And now you can start to build the bindings by using SCUDs. For the platform windows, here you also could write any other platform like Android or whatever. And generate bindings to yes. Well, now the C++ bindings for Godot are getting built. That could take some time. So with this, your first library is built. It will only work for Windows 64-bit in the debug version. And if you now want the release versions, you now you can always make debug and release builds. Debug builds get some extra features on it to track like the values while the game is running. And if you want the release version, you simply type target equals release and the entire process starts over again. So now the release version is done. If you want to export onto other platforms too, or for example build the 64 and 32 bit version, you could type arc equals your processor architecture, but that would take too much time for now. And we got what we wanted, our libraries. So all in all, we installed Python and Scans, set up Godot C++ master folder, and built two libraries. On the one hand, Windows 64-bit and the debug version. On the other hand, the Windows 64-bit release version. So for the next video, I'll show you how to link the library files to Visual Studio 19 and how to generate DLL files for Godot. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I could help you a little bit and leave your questions, suggestions and comments below and I hope I see you next time. Bye!